Hello everyone, welcome back. We're back to the uh, disc project, and uh, we've uh, we've got our bearings. We've uh, got those picked up. They came in. Guys got them for us really quick. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, the other day in the video I showed you removing one of the bearings from the block. I'm going to remove this one. And then I'm going to show you how to put them back in and we're going to get this thing put together back in the field. This video is probably going to have some wind in it. I apologize for that, but uh, bear with me and we'll see if we can get this uh, uh, bearing knocked out and uh, get the other ones in uh, put back in. You can, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but there's a little notch here and a little notch here. And that bearing turns in and rolls like this, so that's the way it needs to come out. Uh, you can see the notch where my thumb is on this one. I hope it's the shadows, maybe right there you can see it. But uh, let's get uh, let's get this knocked out and go from there. All right, so that bearing's out. So what I'm gonna do is take a wire brush 
and clean these housings up and peck the other ones in. And uh, that's what we're going to try to do. So hang on. Hey, I took a wire brush and cleaned that out a little bit. And I rubbed just a little bit of 30 weight motor oil in there just for to help it go in a little easier. Now, <clears throat> this may or may not be the proper way to do this. Ideally, you'd probably want to press this bearing in. I don't have a press. I do have a vise, but I'm still going to have to set it in with a hammer and a punch. Now, uh, taking a hammer to a brand new bearing, a nearly $50 bearing, is usually a bad idea but uh, we're gonna do what we have to do to get in there and uh, we're gonna try to do it properly so uh, let's get started with it <clears throat> I'm gonna set you guys right here and like I said there's some wind all right notches in our housing this is our new bearing bearing goes in like this and it turns see I started to turn there now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set that outside race against something like this, and I'm going to pick the house. Gently pick the house. And then, I'm going to use a brass hammer, and I'm going to pick that race. Nice and easy. We're not getting in no hurry here. Okay, we've got the bearing in to that point. Now when I'm hitting, trying to hit the race, I'm hitting the actual uh, housing. So from this point on, I'm gonna have to use a drift or a punch and gently pick that thing all around. So, here we go. Okay, that bearing's installed. It is ready to go back on the gang. Uh, probably be replacing it before too awful long if you can see what's written on it there. Uh, but uh, it's in there good and straight. Like I said, you probably should press them in, but that works if you take your time, be gentle, and uh, just work it in nice and slow. So, uh, we're going to put the other one together 
reassemble the gang, mount it to the disc, and head to the field. So, uh, hope you found that interesting or helpful or what entertaining or something. And, uh, yes, I did smack my hand with the hammer uh, driving that one out. So, uh, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up if you see a video you like. If you have a question or a comment, please do so. And we'll talk to you guys later.